U.S. entrepreneur Ronald Banish and Shui Jun Ren, editor of the soon-to-be-published new online journal, are aiming to put Hong Kong firmly on the map where it comes to credible and effective Chinese medicines and remedies. So being from the United States, what's your interest in traditional Chinese medicines? Well, I've been involved in Chinese medicine as a, a user since childhood. Uh, my grandparents immigrated to America in 1903, and my grandmother grew herbs in her yard and was the uh, neighborhood herb doctor, so to say, barefoot doctor. So I grew up with things that are very similar to Chinese medicine and have used herbs all my life. Later, I became a consultant in Chinese medicine, and over the 30 years that I've been doing consulting, I've come to learn how important it is for the world, not only for China, not only for Hong Kong, but for the world to conserve and expand the knowledge and the benefits that are in Chinese medicine. And looking at the United States market, is there really a big a demand, if you like to put it this way, for traditional Chinese medicines? America is uh, stratified as far as Chinese medicine goes. There's an existing market among the Chinese immigrants, and that market has crept into a little bit of the mainstream. But in terms of opening up the mainstream market in America, that remains untapped largely. And there are a number of reasons for that. Uh, America is somewhat resistant officially to Chinese medicine, but not fatally so. All of those problems can be addressed if they're analyzed correctly. So the market in America, I would say, lies in the mainstream. Uh, there are 850,000 medical doctors in America, 230 million people. And I would say virtually all of them are potential users of Chinese medicine if it's marketed in the right way, um, and if doctors are educated, and if products have sufficient quality. Would you say there are prospects for Hong Kong becoming a hub for traditional Chinese medicines sent all over the world? I would say that Hong Kong is the essential hub, not only the hub. Without Hong Kong, it won't happen. That's why I moved here. I relocated to Hong Kong. And created my company. Hong Kong offers an environment that's very favorable to expanding Chinese medicine in the world, beginning with the legal system, the language, the culture. It's something that's comfortable that I can operate in. I couldn't do that in China or Japan or another country. So Hong Kong is essential from, from the macro environment, but it's also essential from the micro environment. You have many schools of Chinese medicine here, many people who are professionally involved in it, many companies. So it's ideal for me. Plus, if I do want to go to mainland China, say, or to Japan, I can go and come back in the same day. For me, the project that I'm involved in would not be possible without Hong Kong. So turning to you, Jun Ren, how long have you been associated with traditional Chinese medicines? I tell you about 35 years. But before, I don't understand Chinese medicine. But I learned from my teacher, he's a very famous doctor in China. So at the beginning that time, about 1966, so I beginning to learn that. Now you've started a new website really looking at traditional Chinese medicines. What do you intend to achieve from that? I hope make that uh, like a journal. Introduce some, uh, some knowledge and the basic theory and uh, some formula and some diagnosis method to American people. Let them understand what is true Chinese medicine. 